Hello, hello. Okay, good day to everyone. So today we are going to have our discussion about absolute value. So what is an absolute value? Alright, so in order for us to find what the absolute value of the given number is, please stay tuned because I'm going to tackle and give examples on how to find absolute value. Now, I have here a pond, a grasshopper, and a frog. Now, here is the problem. A frog and grasshopper are living in a pond. To relieve their hunger, they travel and search for food away from the pond. So, the frog hops 7 meters to the east, while the grasshopper hops 7 meters to the west. So, 7 meters to the east is the frog, while 7 meters to the west is the grasshopper. Okay, so I have there the pond and the grasshopper and the frog. Now, here is the question. What number may be a good representation of the pond? Okay, so in order for us to answer this, first, may I have there a number line. So, you see there, the number line there, okay? So, that's a number line, the green there with scales, that is what you call a number line. So, I believe, alam niyo naman yung number line, and alam natin na in a number line, we have different numbers there. So, the number that may be a good representation of the point is zero. Okay, so going back to the pond again, right, and the grasshopper and the frog, here is question number two. How far is the frog, okay, how far is the frog there from the pond? So to answer that, again, may I present to you the number line, right? Now, to determine how far the frog from the uh, from the pond is so uh, we start counting from zero so there's your zero okay from zero one two three four five six seven therefore the frog okay hops seven meters so uh, let's count from zero or from the pond the frog hops one two three four five six seven meters to the east so the frog hops is seven meters away from the pond okay so going back again to the pond and the grasshopper and the frog i have there here is question number three how far is the grasshopper from the pond? To answer that, of course, we need that number line, okay? So, let us count the uh, hops made by the grasshopper. So, of course, from the pond, which is our zero, the grasshopper hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the grasshopper hops 7 meters to the west. Okay, so the west going there. <laughs> Alright, so now if you may ask, you may wonder, Mom, why is it 7 when the grasshopper is found on negative 7? Okay, so ganito kasi yon. When we speak of absolute value, it doesn't necessarily mean na kung saan talaga siya tumapat sa number line natin ay yun yung sagot niya. When we speak of absolute value, it is always determined by the distance. So, therefore, it is always positive. Even if bumalik si grasshopper papunta dito kay negative 4, the answer will always be in positive 4 pa rin. Alright, so yun yung ibig sabihin ng absolute value. Okay, so I have here another question, number 4. How far is the grasshopper from the frog? Now this time, ang tinatanong naman ay gaano daw kalayo si grasshopper kay frog? 
Okay, so we need our number line. Now, there's our number line, as you can see there, okay? And from the pond, there, so there's your numbers, all right? Now, si grasshopper, as you can see, here is grasshopper. Uh, tinatanong kung gaano siya kalayo kay frog. So, mula kay, mula kay frog, si grasshopper ay bilangin natin yung hops nila or steps based from the number line we have there. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, our answer is 14 meters. Ganun kalayo si grasshopper. Okay, si grasshopper kay frog. There. Okay. Alright, so let us recall para sa mga hindi nakakaalala. What is a number line? A number line is best described as a straight line, okay, which is extended, so extended daw siya in both directions as illustrated by the arrow heads as you see a while ago. A number line consists of three elements, alright? The first one is the set of positive numbers, okay? The set of positive numbers is located to the right of zero, so going to the right there, okay? <laughs> and we have the next one, the set of negative numbers. It is always located to the left of zero, so going there, okay? So that is uh, the uh, negative numbers and of course we have the zero or the origin. Now what is an absolute value? Okay, the absolute of value, the absolute value of a number <laughs> determined by this symbol, okay, nakikita nyo ba yan? Up there, the yung dalawang buhit na yon, that is the symbol of our absolute value. And yung number na nasa loob natin, hindi yung laging positive. It may be negative, it may be positive, and it may be zero. So, what is absolute value of a number? It is always the distance, so you see, of the given number on the number line from zero. The absolute value of a number disregards the direction where it lies with respect to zero. So, even if it is going to the right, um, of course, going to the right is always positive. Going to the left, even if it is always going to the left, okay, um, ang sagot natin ay laging negative, uh, ang sagot natin ay laging positive numbers, okay? When we talk of distance, Yes, right. It is always positive. Okay? Okay, here is a note for you. The absolute value notation bars are not parentheses. So, it is not parentheses because your parentheses looks like this. Or it is not a bracket. Okay? I mean, this one is a brace. This one is a bracket. Okay? Now, you use a proper notation for our... Absolute value that is none other than but two um, straight lines, two straight bars, right? The other notations do not mean the same thing. Hindi sila pare-parehas. Ang parenthesis ay iba kay brace, iba kay bracket, which is iba rin sa absolute value notation bar natin. It is important to note that the absolute value bars do not work in the same way as parentheses. Whereas, as you can see this one, I have here the negative of negative 3 is equal to 3. Hindi yon absolute value. Yung parentheses na nakikita ninyo dito, that is not absolute value. Alright? So, those are some important reminders or note that you have to be reminded of as we go on and find the absolute value of the numbers. Okay, so let us now have the following illustrative examples. Find the absolute value of the following. Let's have number one. The absolute value of 6 is equal to what? Okay, so to find the answer to this, simply lang, you count from 0 going to 6. Therefore, 
the answer is 6. It is not negative. Okay? Ganun lang. Ganun lang kasimple. You just write 6. That is already your answer. Next, let's have number 2. For number 2, we have here, ano kaya ang sagot niyan? Okay, to find the answer to that, um, even if it is negative, di ba nakikita nyo may negative dito, saan yung makikita sa number line natin? Right, going to the left. Okay, going there. <laughs> going there. So, it, even if it is going to the left, your answer, ang sabi daw kasi, the absolute value is always positive. So, ganun lang. So, therefore, your answer here is just 4. Ganun lang. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple. Next, let's have number 3. The negative, as you can see there, I have there, the negative of the absolute value of 7. Now, how are we going to find the answer to that? Okay? Paano daw hahanapin yun? Kung halimbawa, ganito. May nakita na kayong negative sign sa labas ng absolute value. Your answer now is negative. Okay? So, kapag may nakita na kayong negative sign sa labas ng absolute value na katulad ng nakikita nyo dyan sa example number 3 natin, this is the time that your answer will be negative. You get the absolute value of 7, that is 7 through 4. The, abs the, the answer to this, to number 3, is negative 7. Okay? Next, let's have number 4. The negative of the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to what now? So, to answer that, as you can see, may nakikita kayong um, negative sign sa labas ng absolute value, right? So, anong sagot natin dyan? Katulad na sabi ko kanina, sa example number 3, kapag may nakita na kayong negative sign sa labas, therefore, your answer is negative. Negative na yun. Okay? And then, you get the absolute value of negative 3. Siyempre, yun ay 3. So, your answer for number 4 is negative 3. So, just remember, kapag may negative sign sa labas, na katulad ng nakikita ninyo sa number 1 natin at saka number 2 natin doon, yan, Number 1 at saka number 2, walang negative sign, di ba? Sa labas ng absolute value, your answer will always be positive. Okay? So, positive daw lagi ang sagot natin. Right? Now, kapag kami nakita na kayong negative, katulad nitong number 3 at saka number 4, then that's the time na magiging negative ang inyong sagot. Ganun lang kang simple, okay? So, I guess you may try to answer the following slide. Okay? Find the absolute value of the following. Number one. The absolute value of zero. What's the answer? Right, zero. Number two. What's the absolute value of negative two? Correct. That is two. Next, number three. What is the absolute? Ah, what is the negative absolute value of three? Kita niyo may negative sa labas, so the answer is negative. And then you get the absolute value of three, so that's three. Next, number four. The negative absolute value of negative five. So the answer is negative. Okay, and then get the absolute value of negative 5, so negative 5. Then, number 5, the negative absolute value of negative 9, the answer is negative again, kasi may negative tayo sa labas. Then get the absolute value of negative 9, that is 9, so your answer is negative 9. Then next, number 6, the absolute value of 15, wala namang negative sa labas, so therefore, the answer to that is positive 15, okay? Ang, um, you may wonder pala, uh, kapag ka wala kayong nakitang positive dito, okay, that's still positive. Writing number with this symbol means positive and writing this symbol, they are just the same, okay? The next, number 7, we have the absolute value of negative 10, that is 10. Next, number 8, what is the absolute value of 27? That is 27. What is number 9? Correct, that's negative 11.
Next, what's number 10? Correct, that's negative 1. Okay, so I hope you learned in this lesson. I guess you are now ready. How to find the sum and difference of integers into our next video. See you. Bye.